Hi everybody. Everyone who knows me knows that I am always organizing in my craft room. I probably organize more than I craft. But people often ask me how I organize all of my crafty goodness. So I thought I would take this opportunity to play with my sweetie's video camera and take you on a tour of Wrinkle Free Diva's workshop. So this is my workshop looking in the door from the hallway. Uh, I'm getting ready to walk in there, but right now I have a barrier to getting in. Um, right here we have Putter, and Putter is wondering what is going on. She is actually the gatekeeper or the security guard to Wrinkle Free Diva's workshop. So let's go right on in. We're going to have to step over Putter. Say hi, Putter. We're going to step over Putter and enter Wrinkle Free Diva's workshop. So as you can see, and I hope I'm not making you too dizzy, this is my workshop. And we're going to start in front of my desk on this cabinet over here. This is two of those recollections um, six unit or six, I forget what you call it, it's a shelf anyway. Um, and on the right hand side, you'll see I have a lot of those Sterilite drawers. In those Sterilite drawers, I keep my rubber stamps, my wooden stamps. So the drawers are numbered and I know where to find my stamps because I have them cataloged. So I actually have five of those. The last one is pretty much empty except for the top drawer. I have some empty albums over here. And then on the left side of this cabinet are all of my clear stamps. And I keep my clear stamps in these bins here. And I don't remember who makes these. Um, I know that you can get them from, oh, I've forgotten. But anyway, um, they store on these, which are actually supposed to be standing up. But for some reason, in one of the bins, I had trouble with them curling over backwards. And I don't know if it's because of the heat from the TV or what. So I just decided to put them all sideways. So you're going to see that's why some of the tabs have the numbers sideways. Above that, I have more little drawers with punched pictures in them that I will eventually use on layouts or in some other project. In these drawers right here, I have pictures from my library of memory system. I took library of memories over at Big Picture classes several years ago, and so I kind of loosely follow that system for organizing my photos. In these drawers over here, I have die cuts that I haven't used or that people have given me um, that will hopefully make their way onto a project one day. Um, that's assuming that I don't forget that they're there. And then walking in front of the TV, there's my word for this year. I'm supposed to be regenerating. I haven't been doing too good at that. I'm going to have to focus a little more. Um, in this basket right here are mostly materials from my son's school albums. I think I am up to the fourth grade and he will be beginning seventh grade in August. So you can see I am behind. Then this cabinet here is one of my favorite Goodwill finds. I found this at Goodwill for $15. And in this cabinet, you can see I have some spray paints, just so um, stamp cleaner. I have some scrapbooking books and creating keepsakes videos, more DVDs down here, and a lot of my old journals. 
And then on top of that, I also have a two boxes, two memory docks that contain like large pictures and a lot of my heritage materials because one of these days I want to work on um, a heritage book. Coming around, we have the window looking out across the street to my parents' house. Yes, I do live across the street from my parents. I love it and we don't get on each other's nerves and I'm glad to be nearby for them. Um, here's the back of my desk and I don't know if I mentioned but my desk is made up of eight Jetmax cubes or Recollections cubes with wood and laminate on top. In this shelf um, I have some of the wrapping from some old china that I keep for mailing cards that have a lot of embellishments. Um, I have memorabilia in that drawer, more foam padding for mailing. And then in the bottom drawer, my CM cutting system, which I don't use that much, but I don't give it away because every now and then I need to use it to cut out a circle or something. And then on the other side, is where I keep my vinyls. Um, I have some templates over here and a lot of cardboard that I save from cardstock packages and things like that. And I use it when I want to cut out chipboard. Um, in the drawers below, I have foam brushes, which I buy whenever they're on sale at Michael's. Um, all my acrylic paints are down here, my Mod Podge. And I have to give kudos to my sweetie, um, as he is the one who made my my craft table for me. I absolutely love it. It is so perfect. On the end of my craft table, I have a bookcase that was part of a set of bookcases that I purchased years and years and years ago. Um, and I found out that it was a perfect height and width, and so I painted it white. And in that bookcase, I keep most of my craft idea books and the magazines that I save. And on top of that is my turnstile with all of my most used tools. I have a cigar box that I just finished covering the other day. And I'll tell you a little bit about, more about that in a minute. And then I have this great little turntable right here that I got at a scrapbook yard sale and I think I paid less than five dollars for it. Keep all of my adhesives in that. Coming around to the front of my desk, in these drawers I keep all the tools that I need to have at hand when I'm working. My blades and my miscellaneous tools, um, all of my adhesives are here because you know as a crafter we can never have too many adhesives. Then down here I have my Cricut and Silhouette mats and below that there's another little shelf. I have my scrapbooking and stamping re references and in that book I keep all the inks that I have, the samples, um, the different inks that I have, the colors, my distress inks, my memento inks, my liquid pearls, my stickles, my alcohol inks. As you can see, I don't have very many. Um, and then I have, um, my glimmer mist as well. And I also had spellbinders in here keeping track of my spellbinders, but it's kind of outdated now and I've put actually a lot of that stuff into Evernote. But this is really handy whenever I'm looking for an ink color to match something and I just kind of pull that out and look through there and see what I have that matches. On my craft table right now there's not much except for my laptop um, and my Kelly Craft Laser Square 
I really like this for helping me lay things out in straight lines. I don't use it that often though. I'm not sure why. On my desk, um, I'm getting ready to start art journaling. Um, I have my Copic Techniques book. I'm taking a Copic class. And then this album is for my Move More, Eats Well, and One Little Word classes at Big Picture Classes. To the left, right next to the window, I have my printer table. This table is another Goodwill find. I think this one was around $10 as well. Had Honey Paint It White, and, there, and it's perfect because it has a drawer underneath that I keep my ink cartridges in. And then all my paper is underneath. To the left of that is my options. I think this is called a store and go. And it actually holds quite a bit. In the top, I have all of my eyelets and extra lockables, which is what I put a lot of those little items in because they fit perfectly in here. And then underneath, and one of the things that I love about this is that you can just grab it and go if you decide to go to a crop. So I have all my buttons in there. Um, eyelets and things are in this second drawer, and I have those in lockables containers as well. And then I have some fibers, chipboard, and miscellaneous items in this bottom one. To the left of that are three of the Sterilite three drawer cabinets. And this is what I use to store all my scraps in. They are stored by color. Um, and I have neutrals, greens, oranges and yellows, pinks and purples, blues, reds, and then throwaway paper, which I use for practice cuts. A lot of people always ask, well, how do you know where your pattern paper goes? Whatever color jumps out at me first on pattern paper, that's the drawer that it goes in. This paper box right here contains yarn and knitting needles, which I don't use that often, but I'm not ready to give away. And then the smaller of my two clip it ups, which as you can see, they are full. I don't really need to buy any more embellishments. Got to give a shout out to Alpha Kappa Alpha. And then to the left of that is my second Clip It Up. Sitting on top of more Jet Max Cubes. And this one contains my small cardstock stacks. I have my eye top and Epiphany Crafts tool and supplies in the second drawer my rhinestones and setter in this one and then I have chalks and coloring pencils in the, this one. Down here I keep a lot of my album refills and then these little envelopes for page kits. Um, I have lots of unfinished layouts as well. More albums to the left and then as we go up I have all of my die cuts or paper stacks. Most of them are die cuts with a view, but there are some others. Um, and I know that for some of you that seems like lots and lots of paper stacks, but I know next to some people that's next to nothing. And then on top of that, I have all of my colored cardstock. And I also have some more templates in here and a few. Um, paper packs or kits that I got like at CKC and what have you. And then all of this are my single sheets of pattern paper. On top of there is my rubber stamp catalog. And it took me quite some time to do this, but it was well worth it because it makes it so easy to find my stamps. Basically, I have them all categorized and if I'm looking for a particular stamp, for example, let's see, um, this one here, I know it's a, it's a wood stamp because I have written down there that it is wood, 
and that it is in drawer number four. As we know, all my wooden stamps are in drawers. And then if it's a clear stamp, the clear stamps, I know that their numbers start with A, a B, or a C to indicate those little black bins that I have. To the left of that is another one of those pretty paper boxes. All my thickers and letters are in here. And I may actually just cut off the top of the box. Um, and then to the left of that, I have another one of those pretty paper boxes with rub-ons and more letters and things like that. And then all of my creative memories um, stickers right there, sentiment stickers. In front of that, I have my We Are Memory Keepers washi tape dispenser. Absolutely love this. I might have to get another one because as you can see, it does not hold all of my washi tapes. And above that is my Recollections ribbon dispensers. Now I was really excited when I got these, but after we put them up, I realized that the dowels that they come with, and here they are, are too big to fit through almost all of the types of ribbon that crafters buy. The holes are too small on the spools to fit on those dowels. So I had to go out and I had to get some smaller dowels, paint them white, so that my ribbon would fit on there. But still worked out okay. I'm still happy with it. And obviously there's not room for another one, so I cannot buy any more ribbon than can actually fit on here. I also have an idea board on here on the wall. This is actually a creative memories frame with my color wheel and some paint swatches and my nephew's graduation invitation. And I'm going to stop this video here because I don't want it to cut off. And this will be the end of part one and stay tuned for part two.